Good morning, America. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Nets of Hope number one out of 12 channels. This is the prime channel right here. Now then, the Lord wants to encourage you. This is a part two from yesterday. So if you didn't listen to yesterday's video, you really need to listen to it because it's to encourage you, strengthen you, build you up, get you right where you need to be before this rapture comes. Praise God, rapture ready is what we're gonna be. People may not believe that Christians are really gonna get to just fly up in the air, but God's about to show them different. But the fallen angels, which are the aliens of this world, have technology of heaven. They're way advanced in a technology. They are the ones that has given information to this nation and other nations on how to build nuclear bombs, cell phone devices, chips, to microchip things, people, animals, cats, dogs. So uh, we're about to kick some butt. I'm telling you, we are going to rise up on this earth to be the Lord God's army. Are you with me? Bam! <laughs> are you with me? <laughs> are you with me in your family, your friends, your workplace? Are you with me? I mean, the Lord Jesus was moving on me this morning in the kitchen, showing me exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, he has got me creating a holy vest of God. It's neon yellow, and it's going to be the son of the Lord God's glory on me. Woo I'm telling you, this is going to be a week. <laughs> There's going to be many that are going to try and get me to take this vest off. I'm telling you, but God is not going to allow it. He's not going to allow it. It's just going to be a Jesus movement like you have never seen. Now then, uh, the Lord God wants me to encourage you. He wants me to encourage you. This is part two, and it's a rejoicing part two. We're going to reread and meditate on the scriptures that he gave to me yesterday. And Ben, I hope you got my comment back your way late last night before I got in bed. Uh, but I forgot to send you the scriptures for Ezekiel, and that's Ezekiel 36, verses 25 and 26. Uh, and I think I did 27, but anyway, we're going to reread them again because we're going to stay in the Word of God, meditate on the Word of God, and let it just, ooh, just build up your muscles. Oh, come on, sisters. Come on, guys. We're going to build up our spiritual muscles. Oh, oh we're fisting to kick some devil butts. He is not going to steal the souls of those in our workplaces. He's not going to steal the souls of those in our families. He's not going to steal the souls of those that are our neighbors and our friends. We're going to get off our butts and we're going to do something about it. We're going to start spreading the word about this YouTube channel and work together like an almighty church, says the Lord Jesus. We're going to move. We are going to be an almighty church and we're going to get off some ass. Yes, the word ass is the what the Lord God calls the donkey. It's in the Bible, and when the donkey sits down to look at you and he don't want to be moved, he sits on his ass, his big old butt. And when he don't want to be moved, according to the Bible, he will sit down on the job, and the servant that's trying to get him to move will literally have to pull on him and get him up and whoop him in the butt. <laughs> so, we're fisting to move for the Lord Jesus Christ and be his army. Be encouraged. Now then, I'm going to read the word of the Lord, and I'm going to add an extra scripture in today. I'm reading from the book of Psalms 37. If you want to write these verses down, stop the video, get a pen, and you're going to meditate on these verses today. And God is going to work in you all day long. He is gracious and lends, and his descendants are a blessing. Depart from evil and do good, so you will abide forever. This is Psalms 37, verse 26 and 27. And for the Lord loves 
justice and does not forsake his godly ones. They are preserved forever. <laughs> but the descendants of the wicked will be cut off. They will be cut off. Now then, we don't want our loved ones, our co-workers, we don't want our neighbors and families uh, to have their souls stolen, tormented, and tortured while we're off in the rapture in heaven. We want to save them now. We want to plant those holy seeds of God now. And I only have a certain amount of time to do this video, and I've got to go because I've got to head to work. So write down Psalms 37 verse 26, 27, and 28. That's added verses that I did not speak of yesterday. Those are added verses. Now here's another added verse. You're going to focus on verse 34. Wait for the Lord and keep his way. Keep your Christian way, your Christian walk. Don't depart from it. Don't veer from it. Don't shun down when they're attacking you to not make a stand for Christ. No, don't you dare shun down. You stand your ground. You have rights to be a Christian. You have rights to stand up and fight for the souls of men and women and employees and family and friends that the devil would not take them down we're going to go out with a fight. We are not going to be wimps. I'm not going to be a wimp. I'm making a stand in my job because the Lord showed me to do so. And I'm going to obey. You hear that? I'm going to obey. I'm going to obey and see what happens. I can't wait. Okay, so verse 34, wait for the Lord and keep his way. He and he will exalt you to inherit the land. When the wicked are cut off, you will see it. Okay, now then verse 39 and 40. Here it comes. Listen to it. It's the word of the Lord that you're going to meditate on all week. Next week, ever how long you need to meditate on it, keep meditating on it. May it build you up with a mighty blessing stored up in your heart, stored up in your muscles, stored up in your mind. You've got the, salva the helmet of salvation on. You've got the shield of faith to fight. And you've got the word of God to be a sword to slice and dice up the works of the devil. Okay, so... Verse 39, but the salvation of the righteous is from the Lord. He is their strength. You betcha. You betcha he'll give you your strength in time of trouble. This is the times of trouble. They're going to try and attack us. They're going to try and get us to be weak like, like a little bitty uh, ladybug, okay? And I'm not going to be weak like a little bitty ladybug. Even though she's got a lot of legs to carry her body, I am going to make a stand because I've got Jesus Christ living in me. He is my strength. So verse 40 says, The Lord helps them and delivers them. He delivers them from the wicked and saves them because they take refuge in him. All right. So now we're going to flip over to Psalms 91. The Lord wants to encourage you this morning, church. He wants to lift you up. He wants to love on you. And again, he wants you to get your life right. You can't keep living without bowing the knee, without bending the knee. Bend that knee in the morning, bend that knee in the evening, and all through the day, just talk to him all over the place. At work, wherever you're stocking meat, stocking cheese, uh, maybe you're a cashier, uh, maybe you're a gas attendant. Do what you can do on your part to just be joyous in your cheekbones and take a piece of paper and write down nets of hope uh, right down at the very top that you're sounding the alarm to go to the nets of hope number one channel and write on that after that that there is another 9-11 coming and mega quakes and tell them at the bottom spread the word because the body of Christ is about to be raptured. Okay? All right, so now we're in Psalms 91, 14 through 16. And those of you that think, oh, I can't do that in the workplace, I'll get fired. 
will stand your ground and keep from getting fired and do what you can do to get other Christians to join in because we're all about to lose our jobs. These are not valuable to us anymore. What's more valuable to you and me is the souls of those that work around us. Are you going to let the devil put those thoughts in your mind that, oh, you better protect your job. They're going to fire you. I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about what the Lord Jesus thinks about the souls of those people. And you should be concerned about them too because they're going to be tormented and demons going to attack them. Many demons are going to possess them and many are going to die when these bombs go off. Are you with me or not to save them? Get off your butts and let's do it. And each one of you can partake in ever what kind of job you can do. Whether you can sit in your chair and work on Facebook, work on Twitter, work on Instagram, every platform you can think of. But the Lord Jesus wants you to take your cell phone, go to where you install uh, a new person into your phone book that you want to save. And you're going to put your name down there and the word journal. And then text yourself a message. Go over to the texting area, make a nice little email to everyone, and then you're going to figure out what video you want to send that will fire up the listeners that you're going to send that. And you're going to send it all through an email. And then when you get through making that email, make the email to yourself. Then you're going to forward all okay you're going to forward all and um, so when you do that it's going to send out a mighty message to everyone in your phone book okay all right so you're going to do that today we're going to raise up the subscribers on this channel and help save the souls of our family and friends all right let's move on Okay, so now we're in Psalms 91, verses 14 through 16. Please write them down. Stop the video and write them down. If you don't have a piece of paper and you're driving the car, go to your um, text message area and just find somebody's text message area where you're going to act like you're sending a text message and write these scriptures down right there. After you stop the video, go write down one scripture at a time or when you get to work or wherever you're, do, wherever you're at, then just replay it and I'll try and give the scriptures at the end again, okay? It says, because he loved me, therefore I will deliver him. I will set him securely on high. Do you believe that today? That he'll set you securely on high in your workplace, in your job, wherever you work, because he has known my name. He will call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With a long life, I will satisfy him and let him see my salvation. Praise God. Now we're going to move over to the book of Micah. And the last book we're going to move to is Ezekiel 36. Okay, so the Lord wants you to be repentive all day long. Live and walk in the spirit of the Holy Spirit. Be joyous. Be kind to others. And begin to think about what you're going to do to have a ministry within your, your family, your immediate family, and your friends, your, your close friends. But think about what you're going to do for yourself today between you and the Lord Jesus. Are you going to do a, uh, some, get into some prayer? Are you going to get your life cleaned up before Him today? Sure you are. You're going to get it cleaned up and you're going to go in the rapture. And you're not going to let the devil condemn you of your sins. Because when you repent, you are forgiven immediately if you truly believe that when you just repented, you meant it with all your heart. Then you are forgiven. I don't care if you did drugs yesterday, you drank some alcohol. I don't care if you did masturbation, uh, you looked at some pornography, um, you cursed or yelled at someone. 
Um, you haven't prayed to the Lord Jesus Christ in years. You haven't spent time with him. You haven't been doing uh, deep Bible studies. You haven't been going to church. Uh, you haven't had a pocket pastor. Uh, the list could go on. Now all those to the cross of Jesus Christ. You heard me. And let the blood of the Lamb cover every one of those sins, plus mountains of more. And you let Jesus Christ forgive you. If you truly repent and you mean it, you get rapture ready. You get God's holy forgiveness. And do not let the devil tempt you that, oh, God can't forgive you. You masturbated yesterday. You looked at that pornography. Oh, sister, you drank beers last night to get some sleep. Get off those beers and read your word and the word of God. The Lord showed me is the 11th harmonics. It will help you to sleep if you call out to him and you say, Lord Jesus, I've read your word tonight and I'm trusting in you to help me in Jesus name. Make sure you use his power of his name in Jesus name. Help me to sleep like a newborn baby and keep repeating that over and over and say, Lord, you are just true and faithful and I know you love me. Help me to get some sleep. Help me to have your holy peace that I won't have no anxiety. And just trust in God's word to be what you need to help you sleep after you read his word. And you don't have to read a lot. Just meditate on it three or four, five, six, seven times. Three or four verses. All these verses I'm giving you today. Now, do not forget, do not forget, do not forget. Uh, Micah, the book of Micah, um, Ver, uh, chapter 7, verses 18 through 19 is the ones I'm going to read today. Who is a God like you who pardons iniquity and passes over the rebellious acts of the remnant of his possession? He does not retain his anger forever because he delights in unchanging love. He will again have compassion on us. He will tread our iniquities underfoot. Yes, you will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Do you believe that? It's the truth. If you truly repent, he truly forgives. He did not come here to die on that cross for you to have to be drugged through the mud for days on end. Um, for God to forgive you. No, that's the work of the devil. And don't you believe him because he's a liar. Okay, now we're moving to Ezekiel 36 and then I'm going to close this video out and you guys are going to have a wonderful day and so am I. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Everything that you've put before your face that was not God, whether it's um, soap operas on TV, um, comedy shows, sports, whatever you put before God to make an idol, uh, candy crush games over and over and over, and you didn't give God the time that you gave that candy crush game, God will clean up that idol in your life and he will destroy it. He will even take away the desire of it so that you will use him as your sweet love. Okay, now then, again, verse 25, Ezekiel 36. Then I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. Believe it. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. Verse 26. Moreover, I will give you a new heart and put a new spirit within you. And I will remove the heart of stone from your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. Now then, the Lord God wants you to believe what he has shown me. He's shown me that there is a big mass amount of Christians that are heading down a pathway that so covered the earth that there was no cities in the way. It was nothing but land for miles and miles and miles and miles and miles. And I want you to know the pathway entrance to this pathway was as wide as the White House of America and filled with people of all different races, all different colors of shirts. They was joyful, they was peaceful. 
They was not in fear. They were walking through what you could call Psalms 23, the valley of death, and they feared no evil. And the Lord God's staff was with them, protecting them. And all these sheep, God calls us Christians, sheep. We were on a long pathway of waiting to get into heaven, that it was coming and that the Lord was lining people up on earth to get into this pathway. Now then, I'm going to repeat the scriptures and end the video. Hold on. Oh, what was that? Psalms 37. Okay, here we go. All right, so Psalms 37 for all those that were driving to work or wherever you was at. Uh, Psalms 37, verse 26, 27, 28. Those are added verses that I did not use yesterday, but I used today. Also, I used verse 34, verse 39 and 40, Psalms 91. And in Psalms 91, uh, I used verses 14 through 16. Meditate on those all day. And then uh, in the book of Micah, which is spelled M-I-C-A-H, Micah 7, verses 18 and 19, you're going to meditate on those this week, next week, till the Lord takes you home. And that will be your strength to help you to get past your sins and forgive yourself and let the Lord forgive you and, and plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself every time you repent. The Lord showed me uh, on the video that I have on my channel, all the way down to the bottom of my channel, that's 10 minutes and 20 seconds long, or two seconds long. Um, in that video, he showed me, or it might have been another video, but anyway, I watched several of those when I went back and the Lord was having me research that. But there's one where I drew beside the church that was having eclipse on it that the spirits of darkness that were black stick people that the Lord showed me, they're not going to go in the rapture. They're going to be left behind. But the Lord was showing me that everyone that pleads the blood of Jesus upon them and has the blood of Christ upon them, those people are going in the rapture. Okay, so uh, again, Micah uh, chapter 7, verses 18 and 19 Ezekiel 36, verse 25 and 26. Now then, want you to have a wonderful rejoicing day. Remember, your Lord took on the nail to save you. Do not let the devil steal your gift of forgiveness. It is an atonement from the Lord Jesus Christ that he says in faith and in truth, He's a righteous, just God that he came and died for you to forgive you of all your sins. He will even forgive those that have said the GD word. He showed me that because I have family that says that and I wanted to know I cried out before him and he showed me a flood of water coming that he can cleanse even that if they will repent. I love you. Got to go. Have a wonderful day. And I can't wait to do a video tonight and let us gather again. Pray for me as I go through the day. Pray for your brothers and sisters around the world and that God will give them strength this, at this time to rise up to be soldiers for Christ, to start winning souls left and right or just planting seeds, planting seeds, planting seeds and asking the Lord to water them. Some of you may have a sister that lives in another country. And if she's not saved, you better get to talking to her. You better show her, share her, share with her this YouTube channel. Let's get her saved so she can go with you in the rapture. Or if you have a brother or uh, another family member or in another uh, nation, another uh, area of the world, start ministering to them and sending them copies of this YouTube channel. And then again, make your name in your cell phone. Um, like I've got mine, Cindy's journal, and then text yourself a message, and then go over there and figure out what you want to say, and send forth a mighty text message, but go into your email area and send it as an email, okay? And um, my email is on my, uh, right above in the, uh, 
description box about my channel. My phone number's there. I would love for you guys to put my phone number in your phone and text me, and I would like to get to back to start counseling uh, three or four of you a day and just encouraging you, loving on you, so you could be a part of my phone book. And then you can use my email and send me an email if for any reason um, it doesn't work for you to use your own email and for you to email yourself, then email me and then put your name in there for, I guess, the sender. And then forward to all, it'll go to everybody in your phone book, everybody in your emails, these messages that we need to send out to save as many as we can before it's time to go in the rapture will receive your entire cell phone phone book and your entire email um, book that you have of emails. Even if you've had the emails in the system in your phone book for 10 or 15 years, you will reach all those people for Christ. You'll reach all of them. And it'll help with the Christians that need the encouragement. And those that are sinners, it'll help them to wake up. Love you. I got to go. Have a wonderful day. <laughs> Power up, baby. Power up with the Word of God. Power up together in Jesus' name.